الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتاب الكريم إن الذين يستخبرون عن عبادتي سيدخلون جهنم داخرين Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, Verily those who are arrogant with regards to worshipping me, meaning that they refuse to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of arrogance. They refuse to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to make dua. Sayyid Khuluna Jahannam Adakhirin, they will be uh, in, in, entered into the hellfire. You know, an evil, evil, wicked abode. And they will dwell in there forever. If they are have kufr, you know, they have disbelief. They disbelieve in Allah and they don't worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From this ayah, we understand the importance of supplicating and worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being away from arrogant uh, behavior and arrogant characteristics. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from those characteristics. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Listen to this short but beautiful hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that sahahu Imam al-Albani rahimahullah ta'ala Imam al-Albani said this is a sound hadith in his Sahih al-Jami' qala Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam annahu man lam yas'al Allah ta'ala yaghdab alayhi So whoever does not ask Allah, Allah is angry with him, or Allah's wrath will be upon him. This hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam shows us and is a reminder for us to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. To supplicate to Allah Azza wa Jal often. Strive your best to have that close relationship with your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that by supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, that this is a characteristic, the one whose who's, who's chest, whose breast is open to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and is supplicating to Him often, that this person is doing is exhibiting a characteristic which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves this humility which is the opposite of the characteristic in the ayah that we mentioned which is madhmum which is sinful and wicked and that is arrogance because when we refuse to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we refuse to supplicate to Allah azza wa jalla to waqul that this is a sign of arrogance and it can be that barrier. Sometimes we get so immersed in sins. We're doing major sins. And we feel we're away from Allah. And in fact, we are getting further and further away from Allah. But still, you need to come back to Him. And you will feel good with your Tawbah. You will feel good with sincere Tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you will feel good when you supplicate out of humility and cry to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala instead of getting further away because then your heart the, the one who gets so immersed in sin they begin to doubt their Islam and their Iman totally and they begin to doubt that Allah can save them and they begin to put a barrier between themselves and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instead of that being a barrier between them and the hellfire which is taqwa but they put a barrier between them and their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's that sinfulness and the ma'asi and the uh, and the arrogance so they become arrogant almost as if only this dunya what they see in front of them is real so they don't think of the haq of the hereafter al haq al haq to mal haq wa ma adraqam al haq they don't they don't they forget that that the sure reality is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that their salvation is with their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and not moving further and further away 
and further and further into sinfulness. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of those who supplicate to Him often and be of those who remember Him and let this be on our scale of good deeds for us and not on our scale of bad deeds against us. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم